Six things you didn't know about the International Space Station. Hey everyone, welcome back to Wacky Universe. I'm your host, Jay. Since its first launch in 1998, the International Space Station has been a marvel of human engineering and ingenuity. From its troubled past to its most recent expedition, there's so much we can learn from the ISS. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our upcoming videos. And if you end up enjoying this one, hit the like button before you go. Six, identical twin study. Over 2,700 experiments have been conducted inside the International Space Station, but one of the longest and arguably the most important was the study of identical twins Scott and Mark Kelly from 2015 to 2016. To examine the prolonged effects of space on the human body, Scott spent 340 consecutive days aboard the ISS while Mark stayed landbound. NASA studied both brothers during and after Scott's time in orbit to see what genetic changes occurred from living in space and if any of them are permanent. Scott's DNA didn't suddenly become completely different from Mark's, but there were some noticeable changes. Scott's telomeres, those things at the end of your DNA that protect your chromosomes, lengthened while he was in space. Within hours of returning to Earth, however, they shortened back to their original length. Scott also experienced higher levels of a protein that help with the body's water regulation, and scientists believe it's a possible link to astronauts' vision problems while in space. More studies will need to be made, of course, to see how the human body fares outside Earth's orbit, which is much more dangerous. As Scott retired from NASA after the twin study, we'll have to leave those experiences to another day and another set of twins. Five, space station divided. Nearly the size of a football field, the International Space Station is the largest object humans have sent into space. Due to its size, it couldn't be launched as a single structure we see today, but was instead sent in multiple pieces and constructed together while in orbit. Starting with the first module, Zarya, in 1998, 16 modules and 42 assembly flights were needed. It wasn't until May 2009 that the space station was considered fully operational, capable of maintaining a six-person crew. Four, a cooperative effort. While 239 people from 19 different countries have boarded the ISS at one time or another, the space station began as an American effort ordered by Ronald Reagan in 1984. Due to its costliness, however, the project was doomed to failure until it was opened internationally and a partnership with Russia was formed in 1993. Russia and America's separate plans for space stations merged and the ISS was split into two sections. The Russian orbital segment operated by Russia and the United States orbital segment shared by everyone else. The two nations' collaborative efforts became fully realized in November 2000, with an American astronaut and two Russian cosmonauts acting as the first ISS crew. This international cooperation between all countries involved while aboard will last until the station's expected retirement in 2024, but some hold hope that this amazing display may extend even further. But some hold hope that this amazing display of cooperation may extend even further. Three, that new space smell. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station have the special opportunity to smell space. Whether from the space between docking vehicles and the ISS, or the particles that cling to astronaut suits after spacewalks, the unique scent of the universe makes its way inside the space station for everyone to get an acred with. According to astronauts, it smells like metal, burned steak, and welding fumes. Two, electrolysis. Maintaining necessary supplies can be costly when shipping requires a multi-million dollar rocket, so scientists found ways to make resources recyclable, even oxygen. Through a process called electrolysis, an electric current is run through the station's water to split the atoms holding it together, producing hydrogen and oxygen gas. Electrolysis produces nearly two kilograms of oxygen a day, close to the supply necessary to sustain three astronauts. Since the ISS has anywhere between 3 and 13 people aboard at any time, this isn't quite enough to fully sustain the orbiting crew. However, it puts in enough of a dent into the supply needed to make the over $100 billion space station just a bit more cost efficient. Every penny counts, I suppose. What experiments would you conduct aboard the International Space Station? I'd love to convince NASA to let me study cats in space. Imagine the possibilities. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
One, ritzy living. NASA's putting on the Ritz this month as it attaches what scientists are dubbing a robot hotel to the outside of the International Space Station for its two robot inhabitants. This robotic tool stowage, the Ritz, will heat and protect its tenants from radiation and space debris and make it easier and faster for them to be deployed. As these robots detect any potential gas leaks on the station, their ability to do their job efficiently is essential. Supplies for the Ritz have already been secured on the ISS, so it's only a matter of time before this robot hotel is up and running. <laughs>